All right, hello everyone. We Hi. are now <laughs> live. Um, if you guys can uh, talk real quick so that we can make sure that they can hear you okay. I don't know, can you? Uh, uh, yeah, this is, yeah, this is a can you? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> All right, Moss, <laughs> Faye, can you guys hear them? Willow, can you stop staring directly into the ring light, please? I do not want you going blind. I say Ray's gonna be late, uh, so. Yeah, Ray is late. Yes. So that is fine. Uh, when Ray gets here and she starts talking, her uh, little window will actually light up green um, to show that she is talking since she won't have face cam going. So. Welcome Are in. Are we supposed to be seeing the map or anything or the opening screen? Um, cryptic, thank you for the bit. Um, no, so the map is not done yet. Um, like a boss points out the pot pie. <laughs> yes, it is a very tasty pot pie that I have not eaten yet because I had to fix okay. audio shit. Um, so, you know. We're good, but dice. Food is always the first thing you ever notice. That makes sense. Um, all right. But, um, all right, so to start things off, I am gonna have you guys introduce yourselves. We'll go from left to right according to uh, the camera layout. So, we will start with Bright. Uh, hey. Um, what on earth do you want me to introduce myself to? <laughs> um, I'm Bright. I am going to be playing Heather, and I'm looking forward to having some fun. Uh, okay. Is that coming through really crackly for you guys, or is it just the way it's relaying it to my ears? Chat. Yes. Okay. <sighs> this is why I didn't want to multi-stream. I didn't want to deal with this. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that is fair. I'm like, I'll just tell oh. the guards to come over here. <laughs> Other noises. Oh, no. Uh, Robot Heather. Well, okay. You know what? I'm making this more difficult on myself than it needs to be. I just realized. Sounds about right. You know. <laughs> that, that, that's how I do everything, so it makes sense. Hey, maybe if I stop streaming the stream in Discord, it'll act better. Uh, no, ma'am. No, 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 ma'am. Excuse you. How's that? Is that happening? Kitty, kitty, kitty. Uh, it's, it's not on your side. It's my side. Um, I'm trying to redirect shit too much. <laughs> He's just making it really hard on himself. I am. Is there any other way to do things? Um... Yeah, okay, say something. Okay. I don't understand what that is a reference to. Alright, that... Yep. Super quiet now, yeah.
sorcerer, and I nearly killed everyone with AoE attacks on the regular. <laughs> so. I my uh, first character was a bard. Oh no! <laughs> so oh, no. Uh, college of Whispers bard, and then I ended up multi-classing her as a shadow magic sorcerer. Yeah. Oh my god! Like, what? Yeah, pretty much. She's I my feel her and Bard work really well together. No, let, me sit in my, let, me, let me sit on my Hellhound and play you. That's what I'm aiming for. Well, she's only level 10, and the way I have it balanced is I want to hit where she can summon a um, a Hellhound in sorcery. <laughs> that's all. That's my goal. <laughs> well, I mean, once she gets that 6th level. Yep, that's all I need. The rest all go into Bard. Cause like I was yeah. I was looking at it and I'm like the way it balanced out I'm like this would be perfect. <laughs> Just gotta yell louder. I cannot. Speak <laughs> through my microphone. <laughs> I don't know. Are we? Are I'm we? trying to sit not too close to my mic because. I I have a built in built in laptop mic. I'm I'm sorry. I'm being lazy. Yeah. I have my headphones have a mic right next to my face. Are, are we supposed to be like seeing the stream? I'm confused. That's good. Uh, what's. What's this under again? Jade Studios? Please stop talking. <laughs> um. Am I still silent? No, there we go. Okay. Alright. So, does everything seem correctly balanced now, chat? Right, speak. Right, uh, speak. Wolf? <laughs> wolf. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. All right, we are all good. We are ready to roll now. Pun intended. All right. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, um, sweet. Okay, so, yes, we are, um, going to go ahead and get started. So, uh, right, if you can introduce Heather again, <laughs> since, uh, you were very quiet and also slightly robotic. Fair enough. Okay, um... So, I'm Bright, I'm going to be playing Heather, um, she's rather introverted, unintentionally pure bean, but, um, hope to have some fun. Alright, and, um, uh, is, okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> Professor X, um, oh, there we go. No longer is uh, all silver for some reason. Oh, that. <laughs> that was interesting. Um, if you will introduce I yourself as well no as, idea. yeah, it it is what it is. Um, yeah, professor became a chameleon for sure. <laughs> all right, uh, but yeah. So if you can uh, introduce yourself and the other Xander. Yeah. Uh... I am Professor X, and uh, I am playing uh, Xander, just a uh, basic-ass guy, really. Just, I'm just here to have some fun. <laughs> Your parent uh, wizard. I have no idea. <laughs> Alright. Cool. And uh, Fauna? 
Plan Zoe. Uh, she is the, as Zan has put it, the uh, camp counselor character. <laughs> um, we're gonna have a good time. Probably get in a few fights. <laughs> yeah. All right. Woo. Woo. All right. Um, cool. And then uh, Ray will be joining us. Uh, she is uh, gonna be a bit late um, because she's still on her old work schedule. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, we, uh, <laughs> lights, camera, Xander, and Xander. Exactly. <laughs> um, so we're going to, uh, get, really, Willow? Yes. Get started, um, <laughs> with, uh, just a bit of uh, classroom fun. Um, so generally, the way that we're going to handle classrooms in the actual campaign, um, because you're all different years, is that unless it is a specialization that you share, um, you <laughs> come here, Willow. <laughs> Moss is very right. Willow's now the center of attention. Just, I am the star now. You do not get pie. No, ma'am. Um, anyways, so, uh, you thought that Lawson was, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, that is typically Lawson. We, it, the surname was chosen because of that Lawson. Just purely for that, purely for that. It, it's, Xander Lawson as a character in name is entirely a uh, meme. <laughs> yes, very, very much so. Um, which is just, you know, perfect. Little Fox! Yes, all the dice. Um, and... Jeez, it, it, Professor, do you know, like, how good your internet connection is? Uh, are we, are we murdering it right now? <laughs> uh, he might be, hold on. Yes, hello, Willow, I love you so much. Yeah, your, your video feed keeps going whack. Yeah. I just... <sighs> Oh, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, this is all bad. <laughs> all right. So bad. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't really uh, mind all too much uh, if it's kind of going in and, out, in and out, at least for tonight. Um, but I mean, we, we, can, uh, we can just go. You can just put me in my. If you want to just put me in the uh, character, that's fine. Uh, to make it easier, because yeah, my stuff is not gonna work well with this. Yeah. Um. Do you think really... that? Do you think it'll crash your connection to keep it up tonight, or at least until the bio break? Um. No, I. Uh, I don't think so. I think we're fine there. It's just uh. Okay. I can only see like the re like the real like on if I'm like watching the stream like just mm -hmm. in the chat. I it is like maybe uh, two minutes behind. Yeah, that's oh. that's fairly common even with uh good like strong enough internet connection. Mobile just yeah. sucks. So okay. We'll, uh, we'll leave it like this, um, until the bio break, and then I'll switch it over so that, um, so that it's, it's a little easier on you. Um, but, uh, cool. So, um, we have assistant headmistress Willow here. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so normally as we, uh, play, um, 
actual classroom time is going to be fairly limited. Um, for one thing, just because classroom time is not super fun. Um, but, or at least to watch. But um, it is going to be the easiest way for you guys to learn and get used to the mechanisms. Um, so for the playtest, we're going to start off with, you know, just a, a classic kind of classroom deal. So, um, we are uh, going to call this potions and poultices, um, because that is something that you guys would all have. Um, and, um... Thank you, Foxy. Willow brought the defibrillator, yes. Um, no, Willow is definitely not in charge. She yeah. does not have... She does not have the intelligence level to be in charge and everything not burned down, so Willow is not in charge. But I do love her. She's in charge like, of my heart. I like Ben's comment on uh, <laughs> his connection being like a clap light. Yes. <laughs> I saw that and it cracked me up. <laughs> Yay! Um, cool. So, uh, like I said, we will start off with um, some uh, basic potions and poultices. Um, so, you guys go into the classroom, and um, there are quite a few things set up. Um, your upperclassmen, most of you are uh, at the age that you don't have to... Um, <laughs> uh, that you don't have to... Um, actually take it the this is included in at least one of your specializations um so it's kind of a, a guided slash free study period um where you are dedicatedly working on your potions um and poultices so this can be anything from uh like a uh a potion that you're making to imbue certain properties in At metal. Um, oh god, why do I hear myself? Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. That's something. something and it made it mess. Gotcha. Um, or, uh, you know, it can be um, you're making something that's going to uh, provide kind of liquid light. You know, it can be anything like that. Um, but uh, generally with this class especially, uh, what you'll be doing is telling me what kind of potion or poultice you're trying to make, and then I will set a difficulty for you. Um, now, we can either go ahead and do that, um, or I can uh, tell you, you know, just a, a basic kind of potion that all of you would probably be making on a fairly regular basis um, to start off with. What would you prefer? I'll let you pick. <laughs> yeah, I still have like no clue what's going on, so that's that'd probably be for the All best. Right. Cool. Uh -huh. Um that is kinda what I figured. Um so what we will start off with then um is going to be just a uh basic focus potion. Um so this is something that all of you would have been taught. Um, but, uh, what your task is today, uh, is to do something to enhance it. Um, so, potion to make a mushroom forest or a love potion? No. We're gonna make a focus potion, also known as magical Adderall. <laughs> because... There is not a single character in either of these games that is not ADHD. I and you cannot that. convince me otherwise. Yeah, no. <laughs> Wait, so, Kratos is ADHD? 
most likely. Where, where am I going exactly? Uh, so you you do not have to go anywhere. Uh, welcome in. Um, let me figure out why the fuck you. Oh, because I didn't add the source. That would do it. Good job, Zan. Source? <laughs> it's been yes. a day. <laughs> you're, uh, when you talk, you're supposed to light up, and you weren't doing that. If you can talk again for me, real quick. How dare you not make me light up? There we go. You're lighting up like you're supposed to now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yay! <laughs> All right. Um, I, know, I, I have a feeling that, <laughs> yes. Um, I have a feeling that, uh, even if normally you do not write Predev as ADHD, I know you well enough that, uh, She's going to end up being that way. <laughs> all right. Um, so. Dan, what are all the call -outs? After about two to three ses sessions, we'll come back together and see if Rita is ADHD. <laughs> yes. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, Where do I go for a character sheet, though? Because, um, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, just the, the one that you... Um, have been filling in. You're just going <laughs> to use that for this session. I'm um, in the process of working on a thing. If I manage to make it work, then... Yeah. We, uh, we are working on that. Or, well, I say we. Bright is working on that. Listen... Uh, your reminders and motivation help, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that that wasn't a uh... honest. Huh? I don't know where my character sheet is at. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I found it. Is this it? We're about to find out. It probably okay, so it. It's awesome. in. Awesome. <laughs> What? It. Strapped? Did I, did I fail at typing? Is that what you're telling me right now, Awesome? Wait, where? Where is this? No. I, 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 I said that we were, uh, departing. Uh. Uh, yeah, fantastic. All right. It's like you're lying um, through your teeth right now. <laughs> no, that is oh, that no. is what I said. No, it's not. departing. It's departing. It is. I can Sorry. screenshot it if you guys like and upload it to the Discord. Well, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say yes to that because you guys gave me shit that one night <laughs> between you and Moth. <laughs> Only because like. you tried <laughs> to not own up to it. <laughs> All right, I'm putting it in current campaign so that viewers can also see it. There we go. Um, nice. Hey, where are y'all seeing this? I don't see this. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> I need to go hide. We're starting. Yep. Kaikilius Academy for the Magical Neurodivergent 100%. Yep. Oh, shit, I'm regretting not grabbing. <laughs> what do you mean it's not a storus? What? A storus. Okay. <laughs> we will fix that later. We will fix that later. All right. So, um, Atlas on my sheet. I. You know what? Atlas on my sheet. You know, you know how many versions of all of your sheets I have at this point. Hey, I was at least You're consistent with mine. Yeah. What? I was at least consistent with mine. That is true. That is true. I think I sent you one. <laughs> I made it. 
I think we've only made one per right. mine. Um, yeah, we've only made one in the actual, like, build-out thing. Um, I have technically two all versions all of yours. <laughs> yeah, Xana's um, over. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And I don't have Adderall, which is why we are now making magical Adderall. So. Yeah. Um, I'm down, let's do it. Long day. Right. So we're making a focus potion. Um, to do this... You guys are going to roll, um, and it, this is one of those situations where you could use uh, more than one type of stat to accomplish this. Um, so it'll be your choice. Um, you can use either brains, because you are improving upon an existing thing, um, or you can use... Uh, grit because it is a potion that is affecting your body um welcome the real nuberson is that one of the bot accounts no that's one of my friends <laughs> okay cool perfect it i'm just suspicious of every new follower oh, now fucking same fucking same Why? I, what's going on Oh, there's, like, spam just... bot accounts going around causing hate raids and stealing people's, like, IP information. Yeah. Oh, oh. And the, uh, and the GitHub that was compiling the list of all of the names, uh, got deleted. Like, that user got banned from GitHub. Okay. Shit. Get the yeah. started. Today. Job, right? hmm? So, that's fun. Like, we but welcome in, the real Nuberson. Appreciate you. Um, oh yeah. By the way, everyone. Uh, so we are doing um, the uh, giveaway. If we hit our uh, goal for the month, um, our goal for this month is going to be uh, fifty dollars uh, gained during the JPEG streams. Um, if we hit that goal, anyone who has given bits, uh, subscribed, um, rated, or hosted, uh, during a session gets, uh, entered into the giveaway, and, uh, the full details of that are, um, within the pinned thread on the Jaded Phoenix Studios Twitter, um, so, check that out if you guys are interested, um, and there is your full, uh, detail for, uh, what buffs do. Um, I have made it so that, um, hosting and, uh, rating also allow you to, uh, redeem a buff for the... Uh, for or against the players. Um, so keep that in mind, um, both for tonight and going forward. Um, but anyway, so, focus potion. <laughs> um, you guys are going to roll either using your brains die or your stat die. Or, your stat die. Jesus. Okay. Brains die or grit die. Um... Whichever one you think you're going to use most. Uh, basically, uh, if your character is going to be focusing on um, how to improve it, then uh, you're going to use brains. If your character is mostly <laughs> focusing on what's going to make it like taste better or, uh, you know, things like that, it is... Uh, going to be grit and your difficulty is a 12 um, because this is a magical potion you will also be rolling your magic die so depending on your character sheet uh, your uh, skill die is going to be the one that is um, right next to brains or right next to uh, grit and then a d4 for magic yeah, that's a 
That's a really good question, Lawson. Why is there a Xander Lawson? <laughs> So, because you are lost, you're wanna... awesome. <laughs> because I was, uh, I couldn't decide a name for the character, Xander, uh, but I didn't want to uh, trigger the GM, but he gave me the go ahead. It's like, hey, as a joke, we have a pretty cool person called Lawson. You should make your last name Lawson as a meme. And I was like, Right, all right, so we're making a me here. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. So our magic die yep. is a d4? Uh, yes, magic die is a d4. Um, and uh, with this system, if you get a critical success, you re-roll that die and then add the two together. Um, Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Willow. Can can you not stand in the dice tray? <laughs> She's just like, oh, you're moving that? No, I must stand in It's time for me to use it. That's my bed now. If I fits, I sit. Okay, what race you broke up after you said you were talking about the... Critical success. I do need a beaker for it. Okay, um, so yeah, if you have a critical success, um, then you are going to re-roll that die and add the uh, totals together. So if you roll and it lands on the 20, uh, if you're rolling a d20 and it lands on the 20, you re-roll that. If it lands on the 20 four times in a row, you get to re-roll it four times in a row, but I'm also going to ask for a salt water check. Um, Fair enough. <laughs> do, you, do you not Very know fair. what a salt water check is, Bright? Okay, uh, so uh, to check if a die is uh, actually balanced, you put it in salt water and um, then like flick it to roll it in the water and okay. that yeah. like simulates a roll really well um, to see if they're weighted or not. Yeah, I have uh, a line balance. Do you want like a link to it to see like if it's one that you're cool with? Um, no, it's fine. I trust you. If, uh, if it ends up being really weighed either way, then I'll be like, okay, what are you using? Um, but I either have shit luck with this one or it hates me. I may need to pick a different one. Okay. Are we I've got tons of options. rolling our own dice? Yes. You can either roll your own dice or use roll 20 or the thing that is in the uh, Discord. Because um, I do have a dice spot in there. Um, I do not particularly oh, care how you guys roll. <laughs> you you didn't know this? I've said no, it a few I'm times. I'm used to using like roll twenty and uh, Discord, not my own dice. My dice are lost. You can also use virtual rollers, um, just, like yeah. cryptic. Cryptic often rolls uh, just on his phone because he has an app for that. Um, oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. But if I can use my dice, that's going to be awesome. Roll a burrito. Yes, do a barrel. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. Oh, God. <laughs> As I haven't eaten, please stop talking about food. Yeah, I was just, like, about to say, I'm going to have to order in here in a second. Hold sure, on. Uh... Let's see if I can locate my dice, because they're only in so many places. <laughs> oh, uh, burritos coming via Grubhub soon, right? <laughs> Cinnamon roll. Cinnamon. All right, so. Okay, so brains or grit, right? Yeah, brains or grit. A brain um, and... I found my D20. Let me roll. Let me... <laughs> I'm so excited I get to use this finally. <laughs> Way too happy. 
I'm happy. Ooh, I'm happy for the click clacks. Literally got a 20. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah. I literally so, showed you my dice is... tray, but it rolled a 20. First time. Nice. Holy shit. Yeah, it might be the Antichrist, Lawson. See, and it. Part, part of the reason that it's perfect, though, Lawson, is that he is a, like, tech theater geek. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the anti-Xander. The anti-Xander. Right? Okay, hold yeah. on, hold on. There it is. Yeah, I will yeah. be the only 20 all pro all night now. That's literally going to be it. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. And your magic die. And remember... If you roll a critical success, you re-roll it and add the totals together. So with that 20, that is an explosion, so you get to roll that again and whatever uh, your magic die is. I did roll again, so that's 28. <laughs> I got uh, a 16 on brains. I did perfect. Brains too. Now, uh, uh, magic die for both of you, so that's going to be a d4. Um, so okay. whenever you're doing something with magic, you roll your stat die. Um, so if you're rolling brains, it's going to be the die that's next to the brains uh, stat. Yeah. Plus okay. your magic die, die which is always a d4. Okay. Um, plus your magic die, which is always a d4 plus any applicable modifiers. Um, so oh, in I this case... Uh, Is there any like a written form of this for those of us that have the memory of a goldfish? It's all in the rule book. <laughs> yeah, or the stat die, so it's like the stat and the focus die also a d4? Um, so the... Uh, yeah, so the it's just one to add. Um, so the focus is if you have your focus equipped and you are using it to, uh, do this magic, that is generally not going to be the case with, um, a potion. Um. My hand in it. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, it, it, it technically... <laughs> technically, Zoe is constantly using her focus unless she I'm takes... Kidding the knuckle dusters off. So, um, you can, you can pretty much always use it. Um, but I was just wanting to clarify though, like would, if so, yeah. cause I only get the magic for the brains, but like if I were to use grit, which I have magic and focus, would mm -hmm. I be, would it be adding another D4? Like, are they just all D4s for like stat magic and focus? No. Or... So you'll, you'll roll two die regardless of what stat you choose. And then the numbers that are next to um, that stat. Yeah, you roll the, D, the D20 or the D12 or whatever. Right. So it's it's yeah. the stat die, which is the D12, the D20, whatever. The magic die, which is your D4. And then you add together the buffs that are in those other columns. Okay. Okay. That was what I was wanting to know. I'll probably yeah. ask again later. That's perfectly I'm not fine. I completely understood. <laughs> So just clear, I think. Okay. Uh, I got a three on the uh, one D or the D four. Yeah, okay. I got a twenty eight altogether. Okay. Cool. Um, so our focus doesn't really count, so we can use our magic, can we? No. So you use your magic, but not your focus die. So here, let me. Let me just, what? Oh. Okay. So. If we were uh, Lex and um, yeah, if we were uh, OG Lex because Lex's stats have changed since the Hogwarts game um, and we decided to use brains for this. 
That is backwards, oh, isn't it? Uh -huh. I, get, I get what you mean, though. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we would be using the D... Four. There we go. The D4. Uh, plus another D4 for magic. Um, and then adding the buffs here. So four plus four <laughs> plus two. Um, so it'd be that, which it's two twos plus her uh, ten in buffs because okay. they were hella crazy overpowered by the end of that. Um, okay, so okay. she has a plus ten, essentially, if she's using her focus, a plus eight if she's not. Okay. Right. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, so I... I'm definitely gonna have to ask for a simple witch click clap back not the rocks to go yeet, but you know. <laughs> go yeet. Alright. Let me let me just Do pull your beat? character sheet up real quick. So uh A twelve you or meet need or beat surpass it. Okay, I just met it with the plus one. Okay. Perfect. So <laughs> Starting off well. Yep. All right. Um, and then I am not going to re-download the character sheet. I have so many of that particular character sheet <laughs> downloaded. Let's... Come on, Zambrain. Beef meat. She's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should have named the file better. Meet the beat. Yeah. Or literally the name of it all. I apologize. <laughs> it's okay. I, I am probably just going to re download it because, yeah, I have so, so many of that particular name downloaded because three of you for a while had not renamed it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We named what? Uh, the character no, sheet. Oh, I just named mine. mine. I think. Yes. Uh, I feel oh, like it might be in your best interest going forward to maybe just like put something in the name whenever you send it that just says put your character name here. Like, you know. I sent all mine from my tablet, so it's hard for me to change them. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Five That's fair. Black. Everything comes from my tablet. Oh no. I feel targeted. Just saying. Okay. I feel targeted. Okay. Uh... Oh, that's fun. What? Adobe. No. I do not need you to open right now. Yes, you do. Stop it. Yes, no, no, Adobe. I do not. Adobe's like, you need me. <laughs> Adobe's like, I'm here. Accept my help. <laughs> I am here. What do you want I me to do? Came for not? you. I am yep. here. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Yeah, it was. <laughs> you know what? I've never actually seen the, this anime either. You've that's never watched My Hero? What? No, I never. I don't have time. I, 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 especially right now, I fucking have existential crisis going on and dealing with that. And then, like, eventually I come home, like, oh, what? I was going to say excuses, That's but fair. you said existential crisis. Wait, so you have an existential crisis right yeah. now? You never stop? Right? What? I don't know. My, Those I, are allowed I, to I know stop? I dye my hair sometimes. <laughs> That's just called being queer. Like I don't. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, I don't have an existential crisis every time I dye my hair. It's gay shit. It's my breakdown. I get to choose the hair dye. Yes. <laughs> I do have uh, like a birthmark where I have like a strip of like blonde hair in my head for some reason. Makes no sense whatsoever. Because the follicles are different. You're such a um, Natural hair color is a secret that shall never be revealed to the world. 
Oh, we're gonna figure yep. this out. Light brown. Mine's brown. I have dark brown, brown. here. Mine's like okay. roughly this shade. I have color on here because I was all purple and then I wanted to do it or I just dyed the top so I had to re-dye the back and sides, so... <laughs> okay, bright. So, your... Your role is either going to be uh, brains, which for you is a d10 plus a d4, uh -huh. Uh -huh. or uh, grit, which for you is a d8 plus Jesus a d4. Fuck. Now, if you, uh, since your focus is a bobble, you could hold on to the bobble while stirring, and that would allow you to get the... Uh, focus bonus as well, but um, I think that would also make sense. I can absolutely imagine the social anxiety of just like holding on to like a necklace pendant, just yeah, <laughs> it makes just sense. constantly yeah. ah, just stir, rip. stir, 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 stir. <laughs> My <laughs> my all times. All right. Um, uh, what is the focus bonus then? Is that just another D four? Uh, no. So when you look at your character sheet, um, there's the D, uh, whatever, right? And then there's stat magic focus. So the focus bonus is if you use your grit die, you have a plus one for focus there. Um, uh -huh. you have a plus one for magic in both of those spots. So you'll get a plus one regardless. So what you're deciding is, are you rolling a D10 plus one? Or a D eight plus two. So okay, so huh, that might go better. Let's see. Let's try that. I will. Actually, I'm gonna go with brains because that's my higher roll on. Fuck me, I still failed it. <laughs> uh, and, got... roll, and roll a d4. Yeah, you're using no, I still... magic. Oh, okay. I, I still failed so, it. <laughs> what is your total? I got, uh, let's see, it was a 7 plus a 3 plus 1 for magic for brains. Uh, yeah, I got an 11. An 11, okay. So, um... Every, uh, so at, at the start of a campaign, which we're going to restart the adversity tokens in October, but for now, um, each of you has three adversity tokens to start with. So the way that you can use adversity tokens is um, each of you have strengths that might require adversity tokens, but you can also upgrade your roles with adversity tokens. Um, so for, uh, Heather, um, you don't have, you know, really the, the only, um, adversity token use you have in your strengths is to not be seen. Um, so you can spend, uh, one adversity token to upgrade this and succeed at the roll, or you can take two adversity tokens so you would be, so you'd have five, and then you can use those five for future rolls. Um, with a, a one point difference, you're not going to have an epic failure. Um, so you'll just fail it. You don't get to succeed at that one, but nothing super bad is gonna happen. I'm not gonna die. You're not gonna die, no. Uh, I will probably just take the hit on that and, like, take the, the boost on adversity tokens then, because okay. that's not that horrific, and I'm sure I will fuck up worse later. Yep. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, what what was Predev's roll? Uh, it was 16 with the d20, and then uh, a 3 with the um, magic. Okay, and do you have any buffs in uh, the stat you used? Um, 
I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. So you have your character sheet up, yes? Yep. Okay. So on the character sheet, next to your um, your brain stat, there's uh, three boxes. Is there anything in any of those three boxes? No, and none of them. All of them are blank. Okay. All right, hang on. Let me oh, no. find <laughs> your info. This is exactly why I created separate sheets for each of you of what we had talked about. All right, so... Come on, computer. I know I'm asking you to do a lot. It's okay. <laughs> it's like, no, it is not. It's like, uh, excuse you? Okay. Do you know the pain that you're causing me right now? Mm. Yeah. Uh, you're asking me to do work? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You didn't actually ever choose it when I oh, told you. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, when I. Your your husband called while we were talking about it. Okay. Um, so. Let me see. You're doing Elementea, Runic, and Ritualistic. Okay. Um, so. Uh, give, that is going to be mostly brains, so far as classes go. Um, we may have to change this later, but for now, Ray, let's roll with, uh, plus two, or, so a, um, you're going to give yourself a plus one. In brawn, in stat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's brawn. One? Yep. <laughs> A plus one in stat. Uh-huh. And then a plus one in fight in stat. Okay. A plus two in magic in brains. A uh, plus one magic in uh, flight. Oops, I did that wrong. Hold on, let's put that I, I got flight and fright mixed. Anyways, we're good now. Keep going. <laughs> okay. Um, and then a plus one each in focus to flight and charm. One A? Uh, each. So plus one uh, focus in flight, plus one focus in charm. Okay. Okie dokies. Okay. Um, so, with that, you said you rolled a 16 on your d20 and then a 3 on your magic die? Yes. Okay. Um, so then you're going to have a 15 total. Um, so with that, um, Heather is the 15. only one who fails. Uh, you had, oh wait, sorry, 16, not 10. Uh, so it's a 21. Um, no, yeah, so 16 plus 3 plus 2, 21. Um, so, 
for Zoe, you got a 28. You needed 12. That is 16 higher than you needed, which equals a tier 3 epic success. Um, so if we were keeping track of this, uh, you would be getting um, one attempt point and four success points for that. Xander needed 12, got 12. Um, so that is exactly what was there. So you would be getting one success point and one attempt point. Heather, you got 11. You needed 12. That's one below what you needed. So um, you would get one attempt point, no success points. And Predov, you got a 21 and needed a 12, which is nine more than uh, you needed, which is uh, equal to one epic success. Um, so that would give you uh, two success points and uh, one attempt point. Now, the attempt points and the success points, you guys are not going to be keeping track of. Um, I will be doing that for you, but at some point you will master the uh, spell or the potion that you are doing, and from that point on, anytime you roll, it will be an automatic success, but there will be a difficulty score that allows you to get epic successes even once it's mastered. Um, unless you want to just go into it and be like, I am just coasting on this. I'm gonna cast Fireball and it's just gonna happen, okay? And I'm like, okay, cool. It just happens. You don't have <laughs> to roll it, right? Like, you can you can definitely choose to not uh, overachieve, um, but basically once you've mastered it, you're never gonna fail it. Um, it's just going to be at your usual level or, but, uh, level or better. Um, so, oh, Kirby emotes, nice. Um, so, with that, uh, Heather, your, your potion is just kind of, you know, it's, it's sitting there, it's bubbling a little bit weirdly, and normally... It smells kind of like cotton candy, but right now it definitely smells a bit more like uh, used bubble gum. So you think you probably should not try and uh, take that potion. Um, uh, Xander, you look at your potion. It looks perfectly fine. It smells perfectly fine. You're like, fuck yeah, I'm going to get me some focus. Um, but you're not going to say that out loud unless you want a detention, because you are in school. <laughs> in character. Yes, in character. Um, if no. you, it, out of character, it, I'm not going to say that you can say fuck as much as you want to, because I know some of you will take that and just run with it way too far, but, um... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, out of character, I do not, I don't care. Um, in character, like, if you say something, I'm gonna be like, was that in character? Uh, and if it was, there is the possibility of, uh, detention. Um, Zoe, you, uh, you look at this potion, and, like, as you're making it, you actually see, like, bits of your magic just, you know, emanating from your hands into the potion. The entire area around you smells strongly of cotton candy. There's a slight bit of glow to this potion. You think this is probably the best focus potion you've ever made, and you're mildly concerned about how hyper-focused you're gonna get. Um, and so you think probably you should not mm take this and then go into the woods because otherwise you'll have an entire colony of new bugs uh, to, <laughs> like, love and train. Um, and then, uh, Predov, you also have just, like, um, this, this wonderful uh, 
area of effect aroma kind of coming off of your potion. Um, it's not glowing, but it's definitely, it is more potent than anyone else's in the room except for Zoe's. Uh, and um, you like, it, as you were making it, your stomach just kind of rumbled, and every time it rumbled, there was a little bit of wave of energy that went into your potion. So, you now each have a potion. You can do with it what you want. Um, you can put it into your inventory to use for later. Um, and once the campaign starts, successful focus potions will actually give you buffs, uh, but I have not determined what those buffs are yet. So, don't worry about it right now. Um, but yeah, so you've got potions. You're, most of you, feeling pretty good about yourselves. Um, and it is, uh, we're gonna say that's the last class of the day. Um, so, you guys have uh, an entire gigantic school that you can run around in. Um, there are the grounds, which has a forest. Um, there's also uh, an obstacle court, um, some archery fields. There's the stables where Duskwing is. Um, and there's uh, some various like sport areas in the greenhouses. Um, would you guys like to, uh, split up, stick together? Um, what do you guys want to do? I heard obstacle course. Did I hear that right? You did hear that right. <laughs> Heather's probably just gonna kind of, like, glom on to Zoe. Just anxious being extroverted friend help. Yeah. Like, what do you want to do? <laughs> 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 All right. What does the child want to do? <laughs> what does the child want to do? Um. Perfect. So, uh, I hear two of you are going to the obstacle course. Uh, Xander, Predev, what are you guys gonna do? Um. Is uh. Is can I? Uh. Can I see like this one on the way to the obstacle course? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, then I'll do that. All right. Check on my Griffin. Yes. Um, by the way, viewers, uh, below each of the characters, you have the house that they're in. There are seven at this school, um, and they are not determined by personality. Uh, they're determined by how each character uses their magic. Um, where they cast from, essentially. And then um, on the right below each character is their familiar. Um, so we have an owl named Sabbath, a griffin named Dustwing, a uh, sphinx cat named Gigi, and um, I thought I had ferret? updated the ferret. Uh, <laughs> I could <laughs> swear that I had updated it, but it's... Uh, was it Ada or Ada? Ada. Ada, okay. Um, so, I will update that on the bio break as well. <laughs> um, but with that, uh, so, Predev, where are you going to head? Are you going to kind of follow everyone since they seem to be going in the same direction or strike off on your own? Um, she'll follow uh, Xander and then when she realizes she's going to the obstacle course, she'll just find a place kind of somewhat nearby and we'll probably be writing. Okay, cool. Um, with your writing, uh, are you going to be doing, um, like, are you going to be trying to craft some spells or just doing some creative writing? Uh, no, definitely crafting some spells. She's okay, but she's not writing a spell. She's making plans for a spell, like notes of what she expects and wants. Does that makes sense. Okay, yeah. So she's plotting, but not actually attempting any magic. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Perfect. 
Uh, so we will start with that then. Um, so sometimes when I have you guys roll, it is uh, going to be um, just kind of a, a pure mastery roll. Um, so, Sander, uh, our food just got here, and so I just wanted to ask if you'd like me to turn off my camera while we're eating. No, that's fine. I mean, I've I've got pot pie, so I've been eating dumplings this whole time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, unless you don't want to be on camera eating, none of the rest of us care. Okay. I just, because we ordered Mexican food, and now I have guacs, guac and chips, and it's very excited. Very nice. Guac and chips. Guac, guac and chips. Yes. Yeah. guacamole. You kidding me? Mm. Come on, Willow. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Come on. Um... All right. <laughs> so, um, cool. So as I was saying, some rolls are going to be just pure mastery rolls. They will have a very high difficulty. Um, however, it's not um, a difficulty that is going to have anything negative attached to it if you fail. Basically, what you're doing with those types of rolls is you're gaining points toward uh, that mastery. So, yes, this is Willow Kitten. She's very Maybe. snuggly. She is also uh, very jealous of my chicken pot pie. She wants to steal it, and I won't let her. Um, but, yeah, so with uh, conceptualizing a new spell, uh, we're going to call that a mastery of 60. Um, so the way that will work... Uh, Predov is you are going to um, roll your brains. Um, this one, you're not actively using magic, so this is going to be just straight stat roll. Um, but you don't have to hit 60 on the first go. If you, um, if you roll and you get you know, a 25, then the next time you roll, your difficulty is going to be lower. Um, so each each check is going to work a little bit differently. Um, and you will have kind of a list of uh, stats that you, or checks that you've already done and where you stand on them. Um, and uh, yes, we are supposed to drink a beverage. Did I forget I did to bring I, any? I oh, yes. Okay, there it is. <laughs> and I instinctively yep. drank water. <laughs> yep. I'm so ingrained by it now that I just saw hydrate redeemed, and I'm like, water. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, I um. actually have. <laughs> um. The alcohol so... bright, Josh. Right. This is yeah, water. Right looks like the new British trade vodka. It does. <laughs> It does. Um, all right, so... So, yeah, with the... Uh, um, with the mastery spells, uh, it's just going to be you roll, and um, unless you get, like, a one on that roll, uh, it, it just gives you points. If you have a one, then, like, you fell asleep. Um, instead of doing the thing, your critical failure for that is going to be you fell asleep. But for this, no, you are just... It could happen to her, too. You know, I mean, it could happen to anyone. Um, so, uh, you'll be rolling towards a 60, um, but again, you don't have to hit the 60, uh, because you are just doing something that requires multiple attempts and progress. Um, so go ahead and give me that roll while I, uh, narrate for the others. Um, so, Zoe and Heather, uh, you're heading straight to the obstacle course, is that right? Or are you guys gonna stop in and say hi to Duskwing as well? Stop in to say hi to Duskwing. I am clinging to Zoe, so, like... She's following no matter where we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. 
Perfect. Um, so you guys go into the stables, um, and they are, you know, magical stables. Um, there aren't any creatures uh, currently at the school that would attack each other, so it's uh, kind of like a giant petting zoo in there. You've got some horses, you have a, a few okay. pegasi, um, there's uh, Duskwing the griffin in there, a um, few other, you know, magical creatures, um, but uh, plenty of things to say hi to, um, and, uh, and then, uh, Zoe, Heather, do both of you have your familiars, or, uh, are they hanging out somewhere else? Gigi's probably in my bag. <laughs> Sabbath probably just hangs out on my shoulder most of the time. Sweet. I have a okay. cat in a bag. Cat in a bag, and an owl on a shoulder. All right. And a griffin in a stable. Um, and a griffin in a stable. Um, cool. So uh, you guys go in there. Uh, there's a dangle noodle somewhere in the stable, um, just kind of derping around. Uh, and for those of you unaware, a dangle noodle is, in fact, an actual player's uh, familiar. Was it a. Oh, um, what's the... Caster. A... Caster. Caster, yeah, uh, but he is a derpy little thing who likes to dangle off of heads. So instead of danger noodle, Caster is a dangle noodle. Yes. Um, so, all right, perfect. So if you want to find him, um, you uh, can roll. Uh, let's see. That is going to be brains opposed um, to casters. Uh, and are you using uh, any kind of magic to try and find him? No, I'm just kind of looking around. Just kind of looking around? Okay. Um, Moss, since you are here... Uh, does Caster typically just hang around where the fuck ever, uh, around school? Like, would Zoe know that he might be in here? <laughs> they find him, he's derpy, and it's almost feeding time, not that he will find the food right in front of him. <laughs> yes, okay. That's a yes. Okay. Inhale the pot pie. So, um, that is going to be brains, um, I imagine by now you've done this a few times, um, so that difficulty is just going to be a 10. Okay. Um, Heather, are you doing anything in the stable? I will probably try to help. I got a 19, so. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, if I looking around I'm probably trying to help so okay um yeah so just for shits and giggles go ahead and also give me a brains roll uh let me see that was d10 uh, he just plump on my head yeah <laughs> there's a moss put in there pretty much yeah he finds me I got a nine a nine okay <laughs> Um, so together, that is 28, which is 18 higher than you needed. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you, you I enter, found him. yeah, you, you enter the stable, um, and, like, Zoe, like, just kind of wonders out loud if Castor is in there again. Um, because every time you enter the stable, uh, around this time, he's there looking for something to eat, even though there's no chance in hell that he'll actually find it and feed himself. <laughs> so you say this out loud, and as soon as the, like, sentence leaves your mouth, you just have a snake on your face. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Zero surprise. Just, she, she's like, okay. 
<laughs> just kind of in a, ah, yes, hello. You are the person who normally takes me back to my humans so that I can eat. <laughs> and that's about the extent of his understanding of the situation. Um, I, I am aware, Mossy. I am very aware. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, and Heather, you, you had already started looking around, and then you hear something and just kind of look and go, oh, you found him, okay. <laughs> because you, you might have had a chance at finding him, um, but you didn't really even get a chance to check because he just came as soon as Zoe said his name, essentially. Um, and then, uh, Xander, you and Duskwing, like all of you with your familiars, have a psychic link, so is there, um, a conversation that you want to have with him? Um, because he'll pretty much just, you know, start coming to greet you, um, because I assume you told him that you were on it, your way. Oh yeah, I would. Uh, I would just start uh, grooming his uh, feathers and just, hey, you good? You need any food? Do I need to bring you something real quick? Cool. Um, so with uh, grooming him, um, that's something that you you're pretty used to, and he's good at grooming himself. Um, so it's not going to be super difficult. But go ahead and give me a grit roll. Um, it's going to be difficulty of 12, um, and you can, uh, use magic die for that because he is a magical animal that you're grooming. Um, Predov, did you get that, uh, brains roll? Yeah, I rolled a six. A six. Okay, cool. <laughs> so the next time you roll that, it will be a 54. Um, and that's basically, yeah, that's... Plus what? Do I add the plus two, or is that just for when I use magic? Uh, that is just for when you use magic. Um, Good to know. Yeah. So, um... Do you explode on your magic die? You can explode on your magic die, yes. Okay, cool. Yep. Roll any the magic die, die. There you go. So yeah, any die that you roll, you can explode on. So, another one uh, is eight... And okay, so eight, thirteen, 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 mm -hmm. and two explosions on the two, on the magic guy. Nice. All right. Um, so with that, you do succeed um, at grooming him. It's not an epic success, um, but you know you're pretty old hat at this. Uh, you're familiar with it, um, and so the two of you just kind of bond a bit. Um, now, uh, you are aware that the, uh, obstacle port course is typically large enough to, um, allow Duskwing to come with you, um, but it will prevent him from flying. Hey, Xander, I'm going to pick and, uh, go help my husband find his wedding ring. Oh my god, Okay. Good luck. Enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you hear any screaming, just ignore it. All right. Uh, um, I don't know if... Uh, uh, I would ask him if he wants to come out uh, right now and uh, just hang out. He doesn't have to do the obstacle course or anything. Because he's probably okay. already been with me through some athletic thing today. We've probably already done a little bit of exercise. Probably, yeah. And, uh, so, uh, so I'll say, do you want to come watch yeah. or do you want to just hang out? Cool. Um, so uh, he actually wants to come with. Uh, he, he's still feeling pretty jazzed for the day. Um, so he'll come into the obstacle course with you if you like. I mm -hmm. pet him. I want to pet him. <laughs> say hi. Yes, you, 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 may pet, you may pet Duskwing. I'm, I'm very certain that at this point, uh, Duskwing's pretty familiar with Zoe, uh, and maybe Preda. Probably more Zoe more than anything, because she probably just comes in here and is like, ANIMALS! <laughs> yeah. 
Pretty much. Once again, the camp counselor of the group. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. And then, so, but by extension, he would, of course, also be fairly familiar with uh, Heather. Um, so, Heather, it's entirely up to you if adopted. you... What? The forcibly adopted sibling. Yes. Yes, the forcibly adopted sibling. By um, the camp counselor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, cool. So, um... You guys get to the uh, obstacle course, and it resets itself every day. So um, there's you know a little bit of everything that you can, uh, or you can do it every day, and it's it's going to be a little bit different. Um, you know that inside there are um, you know both like riddles, tricks of the mind kind of thing, as well as uh, things that you might have to fight. Um, or, uh, magic you have to, uh, dispel, um, so, going in, uh, with the first thing, um, the, uh, from the entrance, there's immediately a three-way fork, um, there's a way off to your left, um, that has, uh, is kind of lined by rose bushes. Um, directly ahead, it's just standard hedge. Um, and to the right, um, there's kind of some iron working um, going along the hedge on either side. Which way would you guys like to go? Heather is going to immediately look at Zoe. Okay, I I can only hear. That's what everybody. I heard Heather say she's just gonna look at me like, "What are we doing?" Uh, Xander will look at you guys and be like, "I I chose yesterday. It's up to you guys." Go to the right. (laughs) Okay, um, so. No one uh, died. Good. I'm glad. Um, so you guys go down the, the path with the, uh, iron working, um, let's see, uh, those of you who are taking ancient runes, uh, or it, it, anything to do with runes, whether it's, um, divination or, uh, ritual war- or runic warding, um, go ahead and give me a brains roll. Uh, difficulty of 18 with your magic die. Um, and if you are holding or wearing your focus, you can use your focus as well. Cool. So, what is the focus die? What, what is that one? Do I have that in the uh, So it's, it's, not a, it's not a die for focus. Um, it's just one of the boxes. It's your buff. So, um... Your focus enhances your magic. So your magic and your focus use the same D4 um, rather than two different die. But you'll get... So if you have uh, one, you just add the one to your... Yeah. Huh? So if you have a focus in brains, you take that one and you just add it to your total roll. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So three boxes next to that. If they have a one, add it. If they don't, don't. Okay, well, I don't have a focus in mine. Okay. Um, but you do have plus two magic, so you'll add your plus two. Um... You come in the maze with us? <laughs> uh, uh, is yeah. that what we're doing? Yeah, the three of us went to the office. Well, we went, you said you were yeah. just going to be nearby. I think. Yeah. Okay, yeah. She's watching you. <laughs> Kind of. Uh, I got, let's see, for brains, so I rolled magic die, so that's eight plus three, that's 11 plus one magic. Um, And then, so that would be 12? Fuck me. At Uh, at this point. Yeah, so eight plus three plus a uh, one in magic? Yep. Yep, so that would be a 12. 
So 18. 15, 18? Yeah. All right. I'm using different dice. I keep pulling just random dice when it comes to the D20s. <laughs> My dice um, just like me today. I'm going to roll like shit tomorrow. There you go. <laughs> um, and then, uh, Xander, remind me, do you have... Are you taking runes? I'm probably... Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, use a uh, one of the adversity tokens, if I can, to, to pass this check. Uh, well, so um, each adversity token equals one point. So you would need um, six tokens right. to upgrade this. If you use two, it won't be an epic fail. I will do that then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this um, was the pre preference, right? What? This was the match preference we're looking at, right? Yes. No, I did not take any runic magic. Okay. Or, or, uh, or anything like that. Okay, cool. So, um... Zoe succeeds, um... Exactly. And Heather does fail, but it is not an epic failure, so um, she is uh, mostly safe for now. However, um, Heather, if I can get you to roll um, flight, your difficulty for this is going to be... Um, a 12, uh, you can use magic with this since you are, um, actively, it, basically anything that I have you guys roll, um, with the exception of grit is going to be with your magic die in the obstacle course because you all are sensing with your magic. Sick. <laughs> uh, so I got, uh, so that's, what are my bonuses for flight? Do I have any? No, I don't. Uh, so D20, um, uh, okay, so that's an 18 plus a 3. All right, um, so yeah, that is 21. You needed 12, so um, you uh, do succeed that. Um, all right, so. As you're walking down, um, Zoe, you start to recognize that a lot of the um, iron rot workings is, are like bent into the shapes of different runes, um, and so you start to get kind of you know on guard, um, and then you recognize that one of them is uh, specifically or it, you're, you're kind of cataloging the runes as you go through and you realize that you have entered a weakening ward. Um, now with this, you can use your magic to evade that ward. Um, Zoe, because you recognized what was happening, you do that automatically. Um, but Heather did not realize what was happening, so she had to, um, once she felt the ward taking uh, place, actually uh you know use it um so uh you um heather you feel your magic starting to or not your magic your body starting to weaken um and so your magic rises up um and uh just kind of from your fingertips and toes, you feel a warmth spread uh, up through your entire body, filling you, um, not just like stopping the weakening that is attempting to happen against you, but because of that epic success that you just got, um, you actually feel stronger and more alert now um, than you did uh, 
just moments ago. So the uh, you pass the um, you pass that area. Um, however, actually, I do Xander. Since you do not take runes at all, you had no warning. So I do need you to make a flight uh, check as well. Difficulty score is twelve for you. Alrighty. Um, do I add magic and focus, or just magic? Um, if you are actively wielding your focus, so if it is, like, in your hand, yes, you would use, uh, both. Okay, cool. Um, I th think, I don't think he would have it right now, because he thought he, uh, didn't want to get it ruined or anything. It is a stall, so it's kind of... You know, yeah. Ah, oh, sweet, okay. So, that good all right so that's a uh, 18 make it 19 19 all right um perfect so you also got an epic uh success so for both of you um it's gonna be that um that you feel stronger at the end um now because you're in a different house you use your magic a bit differently so um when uh, you recognize that something is attempting to weaken you and your magic uh, rushes up, it actually, um, it, you, it kind of like seeps out of your pores um, in this multicolored miasma of energy that just coats your entire body for a couple of moments. Um, it is you know, very loud neon kind of colors. Um, like you have suddenly stepped out of a cyberpunk uh, fucking graphic novel and um, just beaming light of multiple colors and then it kind of subsides and at the end you, you do feel stronger. Um, so... Uh, as you continue walking, um, there is uh, another fork that you come to. This one is just two sides. Um, on the uh, right is um, you hear like kind of the faint, um, <laughs> yes, Fawn's hair. Um, you hear uh, just faint kind of like bird song off to the right and uh, directly ahead is um, more iron workings. Um, but all of you can tell from here that the, uh, the iron, at least from what is within your eyesight, is uh, formed into um, just kind of decorative shapes. The, the rune part of it is done. Um, so ahead, there's more iron. To the left, there is bird song, but you cannot see the birds yet. Which way would you guys like to go? I pick the last route. Uh, you said there was a little bird song. Yeah, there's bird song off to the right. I like the sound of that one. All right, let's go that way then. All right. Yes. Fantastic. Um, so you guys go off toward the birds. Um, as you're walking, the, um, the hedges that you're walking through uh, kind of change from, uh, you know, bushes into trees trees and you realize that you've walked into a grove you smell um, apples and can see a few hanging from the trees uh, you still hear the bird song but you don't see the birds yet um, and this is kind of a big open space um, there's not a clear path uh, or direction uh, from where you're standing as you enter the grove See, those so, are the wonderful of How the 
fuck do we even say this full name? <laughs> it's Kaikilius. Okay, I was wondering for the longest time. <laughs> Let's be real. All right. Just waiting for someone to be the first to ask. My brain, I'm like, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing, you guys? Um, I'm slightly concerned about the fact that we can't see the birds that we're hearing. Yeah, is it? It's not like foggy or anything here. No, it's not foggy. Um, if we uh, if we're going to keep going forward, I strongly suggest we use some caution because we should be able to see birds singing, but we can't. I mean, do we see them in the trees? Would you like to check for them in the trees? Like yeah. they're, they're not they're not easily apparent, um, but you can okay. search for them. Um, so for this, you can use, uh, either brains or charm, um, but, uh, if you're using charm, I need you to explain how you are casting magic with charm, uh, to find birds. Going with brains. <laughs> uh, would making a little bird whistling sound count as using charm? Yes, it would. Um, and uh, and that would also technically count as um, an attempt at wild speak. Um, so let's see. I forgot the thing I had. Plus, I get uh, that's a magic roll, and then. I got a six. <laughs> Ten plus uh, four. I'm not finding the birds. Plus I'm not finding the birds. One plus one. So I sort of grip my um, bobble at my necklace and I'm just going to try to like whistle at the birds to see if I can get them to show themselves and or to come out. And so that's 10 plus four. Four plus two, that's 16. Does that do it? Uh, 16 does not do it. Um, you needed an 18 on that, so you can upgrade it if you would like. You know so what? So we got yes. a six I... in total? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I am going to upgrade that with one of an adversity token. That is... All right. Uh, Xander's got a four over here. <laughs> With your magic die? With my magic die. I, I rolled a two on my d20, a one on the d4, and I have a plus one bonus. Oh! Damn. All right. I got a two, a three, and a one for the... Ooh. Uh, but I did fail a check. So do I get the two adversity tokens from my yep. strength? Yeah. Anytime, uh, yeah. Anytime you fail, you're going to um, take adversity tokens. So if you have the easygoing trait um, or strength, you will take two adversity tokens. If you do not, you will take one adversity token. Um, and then, uh, yeah. Jeez. Okay. Um, so. <laughs> Um, all right, so, Heather, you do succeed in making, um, in, in, in actually speaking, uh, bird, um, Sabbath kind of, like, fluffs up, kind of confused, and through your psychic link, you just hear, why, why are you doing that? The uh, fuck? <laughs> why, you can already talk to me, why are you doing that? <laughs> um, Zoe, Xander, you are both, um, you know, trying so, so hard to find these birds, and 
the only thing that you're successful at with your tier three epic failures is determining <laughs> that you're not even sure those are real trees, much less trees with birds in them. <laughs> um, there, it like you you have just managed to gaslight yourselves into thinking that maybe these aren't actually trees. Um, and they get uh, this from the theater department. That's a pretty solid fix. <laughs> <laughs> um, I could have sworn but, I just made these about a week ago. But yeah, Heather, the uh, the be. only the only response that you get is Sabbath being really confused that you are talking in bird right now. And <laughs> legitimately, Sabbath is like, why are you doing that? You can already talk to me. Why are you talking in bird? I'm just going to tell Sabbath that I was trying to talk to the other birds to try to get them to come out because it's weird that we can't see them. What other birds? Oh. What? Right. There, what, what other birds? <laughs> you do not hear them? That's concerning. No, I don't hear any other birds. Ah. Uh... <laughs> guys, guys, <laughs> Zoe, what? uh, Sabbath can't hear any birds here. Great. So, uh, awesome. with, with this knowledge that, uh, the actual bird is not aware of any birds, um, and... Two of you are solidly convinced that these trees do not exist. They're not real. <laughs> like, what would you like to do? Can Actually, come have, to have either of you tried to touch the trees or were you just like peering up into the leaves? I was just about to walk up to one. I was literally gonna... <laughs> <laughs> like, I was when you're talking about the fact that they don't look real. I was like, she's probably gonna go up and like <laughs> try and touch it. I uh, I'm gonna like glaze glare at it and try to like figure out if it was made by the theater department. If I've made these trees. <laughs> okay, um, so you're just glaring at them, but Zoe's gonna touch one. Yeah. Fuck All right. Me. Uh, give me a grit roll. Difficulty of... They call it a... 10. <laughs> yeah, I got a 5. <laughs> Alright. So with that, that is not only a failure, that is an epic fail. So, you touch the tree, and immediately the sound of the birds gets so loud that you crumple to the floor in oh pain. God. Oh god. Motherfucker. So Can now... Can in the bird speak that's being screeched? Nope. There, there is no change for you in what you hear from these mysterious not birds. But for Zoe, crumpled to the floor, holding your ears, that thing was fucking loud. It felt like electricity in your brain. And uh, you now know for sure that is not a real tree, but the tree is real, whatever it is. So. Sick. <laughs> Don't touch the tree. <laughs> so what would you guys I'm like to do? I'm really, really concerned about Zoe right now. Like, I'm probably going to run over there and kind of, like, oh, yeah. make sure she's okay. Yeah. Um, Xander goes and, like, hit, like, picks, like, kind of picks her up and pulls her away from the tree. <laughs> She's going to be like, cool. Oh, <laughs> um... <laughs> 
Uh, give me a right. give me a brawn roll, Xander. Uh, brawn difficulty of uh, five. This one is gonna be without the magic die. Do I add the stat? Yes. Okay. You will always add stat. Okay. Uh, explosion. Sweet. Sweet. You fucking yeet Eight. me. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> eight plus, uh, eight. 13, 14, uh, 14 in total. 14 in total, alright. Perfect. Oh no! Um, oh, no. So, uh, you, you pick her up, um, and just compounding on your confusion with the trees and the birds, um, y you, you pick her up and you don't know if, like, she has suddenly become basically featherweight or if you are just, like, running on pure adrenaline right now. But, like, you pick her up and you're just like, do you even weigh anything? <laughs> when was the last time you ate? <laughs> <laughs> Flowers ago? So... I think, kind of yeah. I think I think he's like kind of like looking at you on the ground. He's like, "Do you eat today?" Yeah. Uh, Do you even eat, bro? All right. Um, <laughs> Mike was vaguely so. offended because I would assume that she would like to cook with some of the stuff that she makes in the garden, like, and she would just kind of look at you like, "Of course, I made her snacks." <laughs> yes. Okay. Like, she wouldn't oh, nice. say that out loud. It would just be a very hurt sort of look that she gives you. <laughs> oh. Um, okay, okay. All right. So once once you get her about a foot away, the volume in Zoe's head goes back down. The pain stops, and uh, and, and now you, you're kind of back where you were before you touched the tree. There still is nothing visually that has changed. Um, for Heather, there's nothing, you know, sound-wise that has changed either. Um, Just but the fact that I can understand my my familiar speaking now. Yes, you can understand your familiar twice now. Um, so the, there's there's like you know the actual words that Sabbath says that no one else can understand as anything other than <laughs> but you can actually understand as words and then there's the the commentary in Sabbath's mind of just what is wrong with you guys what just happened and <laughs> just the the feathers are getting like fluffier and fluffier as Sabbath is like I don't like what's happening here why are we in here? How long have they been in the uh, in this uh, what's it called? Uh, it is uh, an obstacle course, and thank you, Newberson. Um, and uh, they've been in for probably about twenty-five minutes by now. Um, so you can uh. You can roll for the spell creation again with brains, or you can decide to go check on them or do something entirely else. But it's been about no, 25 she's minutes. Gonna go... She's a little concerned. She's going to go check. She's... Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so... Do we have any way of determining if there's any sort of illusion magic going on here? Yeah. Pretty sure I figured that out when I went and touched the fucking tree. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. Yeah. So let's see. Heather. Um. I'll be right back. I had to go grab some dinner. Okay, sounds Fun. good. Um, oh, come on. Computer, I need you to calm down. It's okay. Um, 
So, Zoe, you have uh, both Ritualistic Casting and uh, Runic Warding. Um, so there are a number of things that you could do to try and figure out what kind of illusion is going on here. Um, Heather, we have talked so much. <laughs> Just like scrolling through. Uh, search for Hellenistic um, or Hellenic, uh, it might get you closer. Because I know that word was mentioned around the time that we were. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, okay, so, uh, you guys have almost the exact same, um, specializations, so, yeah, it, it, you could, um, you could be doing a ritual together, um, you could do, uh, some runic, um, stuff to try and, uh, find things. Um, you could also use your Elementea to see what this is actually made out of. Um, so th there's a number of ways that you could go at this. Um, if you do a ritual, you guys could um, roll for that together. And um, because it's a group casting, even though um, Xander does not have... Uh, I don't think Xander has a ritualistic um, specialization, but he could add his magic to yours. Um, uh, he does not. I didn't think so. I mean, I'm down for that. You want to do a ritual? Sure. All right, cool. Um, so, are you trying to understand? Are you trying to defeat? Um, or are you trying to... Uh, Unlock slash reveal. I would say reveal personally because yeah. Tabitha is sure that there's some sort of illusory magic going on, like with the birds. Like he's that comment with the birds has made me certain that there's some sort of illusory magic, and I'd like to reveal what is actually here. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, All right. Um, so that is going to be, um, for, uh, generally that would be brains, um, It's going to be a combined roll of 35. So you don't each have to hit 35. All three of you rolling um, magic die plus brains plus your buffs um, will need to equal 35 together. Um, and if you can make an argument for another stat than brains, you can roll with that stat. We'll stick to brains, because that's what it is. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that I would potentially say is that because for my character, the her connection to figuring out what's nature and what's not is so inherent, it's kind of more out of concern for what might be there rather than any sort of like intellectual curiosity. It's genuine mm -hmm. concern. Okay. Um, so would your argument then be charm? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll allow that. That makes sense for your character. Um, so brains for, uh, Xander and Zoe, charm for Heather, uh, plus your magic die, um, and, uh, Heather, Zoe, I would guess that you're, you're both using your foci. Yeah. Yep. Always anxiously gripping the necklace anytime doing magic. 
Yes. Uh, I, I got a 10. Uh, let me see. Do, do. Oh shit, I got a 12. Is that an explosion? Uh, I, yeah, it's on a d12. Sweet, so you roll that baby hey. again. Uh, let's see. I got 15. I got a, I got a 7. And then... Let's see. D4. So that one is a 1. Um, so that's... Fuck. Um... It's definitely not fuck. That is 20. I'm trying do you to have... think, no, the fuck is I can't do math. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's 20. Do you have buffs in uh, you, charm? Actually. Uh, one for magic and one for using my focus. Sweet. So that is a total of 22 for your roll. Um, so together we have 47, and we needed... Uh, 35, so you guys got 12 above the minimum requirement, uh, which means that not only are you able to kind of uh, reveal and understand what's underneath it, but the entire grove of trees, except for the one that Zoe touched, <laughs> fades out of existence. Um... That one uh, is revealed to actually be a uh, like a, a plinth sticking out of the ground. Um, it is made of a, a combination of what appears to be gold and glowing red stone. That bitch, the one I touched. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, uh, when you do that, you also uh, no longer hear any of the bird song. Instead, there's this um, almost musical humming coming from the plinth. It's it's like you know the 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 kind of sound that like itches the back of your brain more than you are actually hearing it with your ears. It's that, and it has a slightly musical quality. Um, but as you're doing that, um, Predove is entering the obstacle course. Um, now, uh, oh, no. Predove, you are um, kind of going in. Are you... Uh, trying to um, sense where they went or kind of guessing based on like your knowledge of them um, from the amount of time that you shared with them during school. Um, how are you trying to find them? Definitely the letter, uh, later. Okay. Um, so for that, um, you can choose either brains or charm. Um, <laughs> your difficulty is going to be uh, it's going to be a twenty um, because this is a maze. Um, but you are using magic um, as well as your knowledge of them. Um, so, uh, go ahead and give me, uh, charm roll, difficulty 20. Charm or brains? Um, if you are... It, it can go either way. Um, if you are relying on your, like, how well you know them and guessing which way they're gonna go, that's most likely gonna be more of a charm thing. Um, but, uh... It, it all depends on how you are looking at it. If Predove is purely analytical, then that would be brains. If it's, um, you know... I think I know them well enough. Yeah, then it's going to be charm. Uh, it's more like, okay, like when I was going, when y'all were going through this and you said birds, 
immediately Preta, if she was there, she would have said, no, let's not do that because that lures into your fake safety. If she's now chasing them, if she hears the birds, she's going to go, they're stupid enough to go towards the birds. <laughs> so the, the first thing that you would have to... Yeah, that's the second fork. The first fork is uh, roses, plain hedge, or uh, iron um, siding, like iron I rot I, I decorative just siding. Whatever. I missed the first part then, the first fork. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. entirely paying attention. I just said, let's go right. <laughs> uh, so what's going on at the first fork? Because um, I missed, so... I missed that. Um, so the first fork, you have three options. There is um, uh, one option that is uh, rose bushes all the way down. Uh, one option is just plain like bush hedges. Um, and the other option there is um, on both sides of the path, uh, there's like wrought iron um, kind of decorative stuff going along the hedges. Um, okay, so roll a charm. Hey! <laughs> Thank you for the subscription. Uh, who would you like to give the automatic explosion to? That was me. <laughs> I know. You still get um, to give uh, yourself or one of the others an automatic explosion. I am going to give it to Zoe, only because I kind of want to see what she would do with it. All right. <laughs> cool. Um, so, Zoe... Auto-explode. All right. Um, and you have uh, 10 minutes to use that explosion, um, so keep it in mind for your upcoming rolls. Um, okay. So with hosting, um, that is uh, equivalent to 100 bits, so you can give um, three adversity tokens to one uh, party character. Wipe. No, but a fucking party wipe. <laughs> Just nuke them. Um, what? Why? 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 Why are you licking my toes right now? No! 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 Toes. <laughs> Toeing. Okay. There we go. Please do not chase my foot to continue. <laughs> Baby girl, I do not need foot tickles right now. Do it. Keep going, okay. child. Um. <laughs> yes. Um. So, uh, Faye, if you uh, choose someone to give uh, three adversity tokens to, just. Uh, say it in the chat, and they can add it to their sheets. Um, but yes, yeah, so uh, rose bushes, plain hedges, or uh, hedges with iron rot decoration. Okay, so I rolled a three, and she has her pin behind her ear. Oh. So is that, that also a focus with magic? So it's a four. And then with the magic, it's the six. Uh, okay, yeah. So, um, you got a total of six? Yeah. But I also have to focus behind her ears. And what does that do? You said that's... Um, yeah, so if that stat has any plus ones in the focus, um, box, then you'll add that uh -huh. as well. Then I have a seven. <laughs> okay. And you rolled both that stat die plus your magic die? Yes. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, 
Predove chooses to go down the rosebush path. Oh, no. Um... <laughs> which is directly opposite the way that uh, that these three went. Um, okay, bye. Along... What? I said, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, Predov, go ahead and take your failure adversity token. Um, or what was that? Or it... Uh, do you have the um, easygoing strength um, no. No, okay. Um, so... Oh, yeah, you have Intuitive and Guardian, okay. Um... Mm -hmm. Actually, so, with, uh... Guardian... Hang on. Um, so with Guardian, uh, because you are... Um, because you're doing this to find people because you're concerned about them, um, you can use that bonus. Um, so hang on, let me pull up. Um, on your sheet, did you actually write out what Guardian does? I have Guardian if you need it. No, oh, I didn't know what it's supposed to. I'll okay. try it for you if you need it. Alright, yeah, what, yes, what is Guardian? It's uh, whenever uh, defending uh, another being, you roll your stat and magic dice, regardless if you're uh, not using magic. And then if you fail, you re-roll the magic die. Okay. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and re-roll your magic die, Predov. Yeah, I still got three. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so... Uh... <laughs> still goes the opposite direction. <laughs> Yep, you're still going to go the opposite direction, um, which uh, takes you down the rosebush path. Um, hey, as you um, are... Yep. Real quick, maybe... I, I, don't, I don't know if this is possible, but would Duskwing... Duskwing wouldn't have come with me, right? But after a while, probably got a little nervous and saw Preto. Would he have followed her? Um... <laughs> Freedom, how much time do you spend in the stables, typically? Not a lot of time at all, if ever. All right. Why not? <laughs> uh... Okay. Um, yeah, so... Duskwing might be around, um, but he and Predev would have to figure out how to talk to each other. Um, so, uh, he'll, he'll tell you that Predev is now in the maze too, um, and that he's just kind of following along, um, but... And he knows that you're in danger, but he, he doesn't really, you know, he's got a psychic link with you, but he, he doesn't have the same level of intelligence as a human. Um, so he's going to need some right. instruction. Do you want him to try and lead her to you? Yes. Uh, okay. If I see her heading to, if I see, if I can, uh, basically, if he's telling me that she's going towards the rose, bu rose bushes, I'm like, hey, tell her, nope, get to the right. Or drag, or, you know, or, like, try to, like, say, hey, wrong way. In your way. Uh, <laughs> this should be good. Yeah, it should be real good. Alright, yeah. So, uh, he, like, grabs the, the hem of your, um, school blazer. 
and tries to uh, get you to follow, like, kind of pulls on it, like, trying to get you to come with him. Okay. Yeah, she's immediately, like, she yells almost like, hey! <laughs> All right. Um, so, he, uh, he's going to kind of, like, fluff up. And then just... Stomps his foot a little bit, staring at you super intensely. Uh, is he like pointing into a certain direction? Yeah, like he he's jerking with his head. Like you you, you can, if it were a person. You would be pretty pretty sure that like he was uh, telling you to pay attention to something, um, but this is neither a person nor a uh, an animal that you're familiar with. So all you know is he bit your blazer. And he fluffed up his wings, and he's stomping, and he's jerking his head around. Is Ada with me, or is she? Most likely, it's up to you. Okay. Yeah, she. Well, I don't know. The little shit likes to turn invisible and run away from her. Oh, that is true. <laughs> um. <laughs> That is very, very true. Uh, yeah, roll me a d20 real quick. No oh, fuck. Got a nine. You got a what? A nine. Okay, yeah, it, you have no idea where the fuck Ada is. <laughs> Perfect timing. I know. <laughs> um... Then Prita is she's just gonna just throw her hands up in the air and just what? Um Yeah, he he like leans in to like bite your jacket and pull on it again. She's gonna let him, but she just, she's going to make sure he's not going to rip a hole in her blazer. <laughs> That's the concern. <laughs> um, he's, he's pulling. He's not, like, yanking. Um, he doesn't seem to be trying to, like, harm it. He's just, like, if, if this is your blazer, this is him. Okay, so, so he's this, trying he's, to pull you back toward the fork. Yeah, she's she's letting she's following him. You can okay. let go now. You can let go now. I'm following. Just please <laughs> let go of my shirt. Um. Are. Eh, you know, he, he's a griffin. He he probably does at least understand. Let go. So, he does, and then he, like, glares you down a little bit, turns around, and starts walking, um, and after a couple of feet, just, like, looks back to make sure you're still following. The challenge is on. She's glaring back and following him. <laughs> you're, you're fighting with a fucking griffin. <laughs> yes. Just battle of wills right now. All right. Um, so yeah, let me know if you actually want to fight my Griffin, because you know. <laughs> fight him. Time. She's not the kind well, of fight. Like, Freedom like... is lucky enough if she weighs over a hundred pounds, soaking wet. She's not fighting a Griffin. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, it, Duskwing lets you know that uh, he's bringing her the right way. Um, 
Now, uh, Predove, if I can get you to uh, make a brains roll difficulty of 14. Oh, thank God. Um, um, is it going to be with magic or no? Uh, yeah, it's with magic. Okay, so 12, 3, so it's 15, and then my stat. Do I use my stats? Yeah. Right? Uh, 15, 16, 17. All right, um, so you are one away from succeeding. Do you want to use an adversity token to automatically succeed? Yes. Okay, perfect. So um, uh, so you are able to recognize uh, some of the runic workings um, and automatically like put up some of your defenses. Um, and uh, and then continue walking down the path. When you reach the um, area that has, uh, you know, the, the straight ahead is um, just normal, uh, obviously more decorative iron, not, not any runes hidden in it that you can tell. And then there's the bird song over on your right. And you said that you would... Um... I would say, uh, given when she asked how long it had been since you guys went in, um, she probably gets there right as you are dispelling it. So you hear birdsong down one side, and before you can make a decision, uh, the birdsong stops. She is going to go ahead and give a wild guess that that's them and turn down that way and follow. All right, perfect. <laughs> So uh, you go down, you, you enter uh, this large uh, open area. Um, the only things you see in there are uh, your three classmates and a large uh, plinth coming out of the ground that is partially uh, gold and partially dark red um, stone of some sort. And in the, like, back of your brain, uh, you feel more than hear um, this, like, hum that is almost musical, but not quite rhythmic enough to actually be music. So, all four of you are there together. What would you guys like to do? Keep going. I mean, we don't have much of an option. <laughs> So you guys want to, like, just go around the plinth? Yes. <laughs> I am... Um, Given that a wide berth. Yeah, I don't feel like Heather would be very interested in exploring the ominous plinth. Right and it might kind of, like, tug <laughs> no <laughs> shirt, no like, no makes her that she doesn't go towards it. All right. go over Duskwing and, uh, reach... I, I, would he have like a saddle or like a thing on him where I could like ride? Uh, yeah, he most likely would. Okay, then I'm gonna reach into the pouch and grab my focus because I'm like, oh, I need the, I need this. This is gonna be bad if I don't have this. Good plan. Good plan. All right. Um, and then Predev, you okay. said that you want to check out the plinth. Yeah. Go for it. Oh no. All right. <laughs> How would you like to check, check out the plinth? plinth? All right, so what are you guys trying to do uh, to figure out what's going on? Uh, Heather is just gripping the back of Zoe's uh, blazer and trying to prevent her from, like, touching it again. Um, I wasn't going to! <laughs> like, <laughs> that doesn't time, matter. So. She just has, like, the anxiety that you might get, like, a bug in your bonnet to go try. <laughs> I was tempted to at one point, and then I'm like... <laughs> She'd probably go up to it again to look at it, but she's not going to be stupid enough to touch it a second time. Um, what else is around now besides the plinth? Is it just the empty space at this point, or what? Um, yeah, it, it, so it's, it's fairly big empty space. You do see um, kind of about two, three yards away, um, there's what looks like the continuation of the maze. Um, and kind of in the middle of this area is the plinth. 
when you're saying a plinth, are you talking about something that looks a little bit like a um, column or what's the word? You mean a column? Yeah. Yeah. With my what I study, since I do like metalworking and stuff, can I tell what it's made of? Um. You would definitely be able to do a check, um, especially given that your focus is metalworking with uh, stone like built into it. Um, so yeah, that is... Um, are you trying to uh, feel what it is using your magic, or are you trying to gauge what it is based on uh, visual combination of your, uh, like, past knowledge of materials. Uh, I'm gonna say the latter, at least for now. Okay. Um, so that is gonna be a brains roll with magic. Difficulty is a 40. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Um, that's with too. with your magic and your stats. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna tell Frida like before all this gets going, like don't touch it. It made Zoe fall to fall into a fe at the fetal position. Uh, hey, what? for those of you in my chat who are um. Yeah. I just saw those pop in. All, all right. Nice. Mods. Bots. Mods. Are any of you there? Yeah, it's definitely bots. Thank you, Faye. Um, all right, so um, the uh, uh, user doesn't exist. Okay. That's fun. Um, I think I had that happen with one. Yeah, I I've had it happen it. a couple of times. It may be if you're, uh, yeah, okay. It it looks like um, you must have been off on one of them with the number of underscores. But I've got them blocked now. Um, all right, so uh, all right, cool. So you tried to uh, figure out what it was made out of just based on uh, previous knowledge, um, and you were twenty-four under what you needed. Um, yeah. Xander, what uh, what were you doing? Um, I uh, heard. Uh, when you were describing it, like, it's almost musical, like, but not really. Mm -hmm. Is there, like, I want to see if I can use, uh, my musical magic to maybe, like, try to understand if it's, like, just in the wrong frequency, or is it, or is there, like, a message of it? Like, I can decode it, uh, somehow, with okay. uh, my knowledge of music. Yeah, so um, you're trying to basically translate it yes. with your Musamantia? Okay. Um, so that... Um, so in, in your mind as a player... Um, when you are thinking about using this kind of magic, Blazikins! 
Welcome back in. Um, and uh, if you would like, feel free to give a uh, character an automatic explosion. Um, so, uh, when you are thinking... Motherfucker. Sorry. <laughs> uh, when you were thinking about um, trying to translate what um, what kind of tactic, like how are you using your magic with this? What kind of stat do you think this would be? Um, I think I would use my brains of, of no, my brains for the knowledge of instruments I know, uh, and try to basically ascertain the uh, notes, like the, uh, I think in all the notes, uh, on the, uh, scales, and just kind of, like, 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 kind of, like, think of, uh, like, kind of hear it in my head, and, um, try to disertain, like, because everything, you know, A through G, and then it's like, that kind of spells something, if it spells, like, anything, or it's just kind of, like, a melody that kind of, like, sounds familiar to me. Okay. Um, okay, so that is uh, going to be a difficulty of uh, 25. And then, Predov, what were you doing to try and um, figure out this plinth? Um, is there a way to figure out, like, Type of magic it is, or what are you choosing? Hero! Sorry. Explosion. Nice. Okay. Sweet. Is there a way to, yeah, is there a way to figure out like what type of magic something is made out of, or? Um, yeah, you could definitely do that. Um, so. Are you just trying to get a sense for it, um, just kind of magically? Uh, like, are you trying to detect what specializations go into it, or are you trying to detect what the origin of it is? Like, what created it? Um, what created it, seeing that she, she dabbles in creating her own spells as well. Okay. Um, so this is going to be, um, for you, that would be a charm roll, uh, difficulty of 20. And that is with magic. Um, so Xander, what did you get? Uh, 34 in total. All right. Awesome. Okay, so... Go ahead, Predev. Sorry. I rolled an 8, and I have a d10, but I rolled a 4 on the d4 for magic. Is that anything? Yeah, so that's a critical success on that, so you that does explode, and you get to re-roll it. Re-roll the magic dice, or the d10? Uh, the d... Uh, the magic die. And then you add the four to your new roll. Okay, so that's an eight, four, so eight, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15, all right. So um, your difficulty score was a 20. Um, so that is five below what you needed. Um, so Zoe Predov, go ahead and give me, or uh, not give me, uh, go ahead and take your adversity tokens for those two failures. Um, what are the, what do you mean by take the adversity tokens? So, um, you have three adversity tokens at the start of gameplay, um, uh -huh. and you will, um, every time you fail a roll, you're going to take a, uh, or you'll add another one to that. And you can spend your adversity token on uh, certain skills. You can also spend them to uh, level up your score by one point for each token. So, 
I used one earlier, so then you're giving me back one, so I have three again? Yes. Okay. Oh, and did you, uh, did you take one when you, um, were working on the, uh, spell planning? No. Okay, so go ahead and give yourself another one then. Um... Even if there's no negative effect for not hitting that roll, um, you do get, um, anytime you fail, you, you get to take one adversity token. Um, so you'll have four now. Um, okay, so, um... From the top, Zoe, you are uh, kind of investigating, uh, trying to... Um, oh, you gave uh, who one, Faye? You gave which character one? Because the host gives you three adversity tokens that you can give out. So you can do that, you know, one to three characters or three to one character. Free dev for all oh. three. Okay, um, so in that case, you would have um, f going into that role, you would have six. So if you wanted, you could upgrade um, that role, and you would have one left, and that would be a success oh. for you. They just changed. Said one for oh. free dev, one for me, and one for San. Okay. Um, so in that case, uh, Prita, you would have started off that roll with four, um, so, uh, yeah, you wouldn't be able to spend your adversity tokens to succeed on the roll, but you would be able to spend one to not critically fail the roll. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, so, and then, Heather, were you doing anything other than trying to keep Zoe from touching it again? Um, most likely not. She probably has little to no interest in, like, doing anything for, but moving on from the ominous-looking pillar. Okay, cool. Um, so, Zoe, you're looking at it, and you don't know if your mind is just blanking right now, um, because of the extreme shock you got, uh, to your system earlier, or, um, if this is legitimately materials that you have never seen before, like, before you tried to identify it, you thought that maybe it was some kind of, like, stone that you could have seen, um, like, you know, maybe a bloodstone or something and some gold, but now you're like, I don't fucking know, man. That might as well be, like, alien material right there. That it, I've, I've never seen this shit before in my life. I don't... I don't know. That's not pretty good, so we'll go with that. <laughs> you know. Um... Predov, you trying to detect its origins, um, and... The, this this thing is like trying to grasp it magically enough to determine where it came from. It's slipping through your fingers like you are water and it is oil. It just is not having it. Um, however, Xander did succeed his role. He had an epic success on his role. So he starts identifying, like, bits of musical pieces, um, and the, uh, giant cat that invades the, um, area for, like, half a second and then disappears, <laughs> um, and, uh, and so you actually start kind of absentmindedly humming back to it, um, and as you do so, the color of the stone changes from uh, that dark, dark red to um, kind of a, a s soft, glowing green. 
Um, and the, like, what the hell? S and the sound in everyone else's uh, mind sh fades away. Um, Xander, in your mind, it uh, the closest thing that you can equate it to is like the Imperial March. <laughs> Um, it's, it's not, you know, full on, dun, 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 but it has the same energy. You've definitely not heard whatever this is before, but that's the energy that you get from it. Um, but you do feel like you have a very good grasp of it. Is there anything that you would like to do? Um, when it changed uh, from red to green, did anything, like, open up? Did anything happen? Um, aside from the, the sound going away for everyone else, um, no, you did notice that the, um, uh, the animals seemed to get a little calmer um with the exception of caster who has popped his derpy little head out of the bag and is just like what what's going on and just starts to go to for the plinth uh no i'm gonna keep him from doing that <laughs> i'm gonna just be like no buddy do not bad Freedom idea is going to touch it now that it's a different color okay um, so it, number one, uh, we're, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna do a, uh, an opposed roll to see if you manage to stop caster. Um, okay. so, uh, there's two options with this. Um, you can do flight to see how fast you are or charm to see if you can convince him to stop. Um, so I'll let you decide which one you want to use. Um, and then... Uh, uh, I'd rather or... have wild speak. have to talk to him to tell him no. no. Oh yeah, you do have wild speak. So yeah, um, in that case, definitely... Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. We're 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 gonna roll it this way. Um, you roll charm, just straight charm, and uh, he's gonna roll brains to see how well he actually understands what you're saying. Oh no! I got a ten. I literally rolled a ten on a ten. I, I exploded. Okay, well. Go ahead and roll that again. So 17. <laughs> All right. That's 6, 10, 12. All right. So um, he did actually listen. Good boy. <laughs> and he just kind of like stops and looks back at you and goes, but what if it has dinner? It does not have dinner. <laughs> I don't know. I I like the music. It sounds like dinner music. You'll get dinner when I take you back to your mom. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, why aren't we going back to mom? We'll be going there next. Okay, but what if that has food now? <laughs> it definitely <laughs> doesn't. Are you sure? I'm positive. Mm, but he slithers back up and just kind of winds his way up your leg and then back into the bag. <laughs> she just probably just like, fuck, <laughs> why are you waking me up? <laughs> Um, all right, 
So, uh, Preda, have you said that you're going up to it and touching it? Yep. Yeah, she's going to go ahead and very uh, hesitantly. Like, she's going to hesitate for a second, then she'll touch it. Okay. Uh, give me a charm roll, difficulty of... Uh, Call it a difficulty of 15. No. <laughs> I don't have a D10 on this, guys. And your D4. You are okay. reaching out to it with magic. Fuck! I was going to say, I heard the fuck. So. Mm -hmm. He told you not to touch it. <laughs> so. Um. Four. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, between the two, you got a four? I literally rolled a two, and then a one, and I went focus with one. Uh, God, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, this hand is probably just like, I literally told you not to touch the damn thing. Christ, okay. Uh... Was Xander doing anything while that was happening? Uh, Xander sees, I mean, yeah, it's now clearer, or it's, it seems to have calmed the animals, but he still doesn't trust this machine, so as Preto is reaching out to it, he's, he would probably try to s stop her, but... If if she if she if he did and, and she, he as soon as she touched it he would probably like jack pulled her back. Okay. Um. Yeah. So Predov touches it. Um. And tries to like vibe with it. <laughs> basically, yeah. You're you're trying to vibe with it. Um. And you don't just not vibe with it. All of the, the green that used to be red is now a deep, deep, almost black purple. Oh, no. Oh, good God. I'd like to All leave. of you. All of you. <laughs> please give me a grit roll difficulty of 18 with your magic die. Oh, I'm gonna oh no. Oh, God. Oh, God. This, this is bad. bad. Is there any way that I could talk you into a different one? <laughs> uh, yeah, what what would you like to use okay. instead? What do you think would make An sense explosion? here? Probably um, bolt as far backwards as possibly like can be done in the moment that she starts to see it turn color. Okay, so you can use flight. Six, awesome. <laughs> All right, 11... Uh, no. 13. 14. Did not make it. I got a 14. Um. How close you did you get to right? regularly fail? Uh. What did you say the difficulty was again? Uh, difficulty is 18. And, uh, remember, um,. It, Blaze, are you still in here? Did you assign anyone an automatic explosion? Oh, I had one. Yeah, you do have one. Oh, yeah. Um. That means I save. <laughs> uh, Damn. I got a 19. Hey. Awesome. Uh, Predev, what was yours? Uh. My, um, yeah, hold on. I wrote it. I wrote it. Okay. I got a 13. Hold on. Yeah, th 13. Can I use the adversity tokens to not fail? That's what I have to do. <laughs> um, so, uh, instead of doing that pre -dove, um, it... I, it, it looks like Blaze is probably playing a game right now. Um, she likes to load me up and then just tab and, and go play a game. Um, so, according to the die, uh, 
Predove gets the automatic explosion from Blaze. Zoe has an automatic explosion from uh, Bright. So, um, is Zoe having to use adversity tokens with that explosion? Oh god, yeah. okay. Alright, so you make it 218 with... Yes, I have to use two of my tokens. Oh Maybe. god, okay. Um, and then, so Predev, <laughs> what was your role before explosion? Um, 13. 13, okay. And then what die is that? So I had the grit, which is a d6, I rolled a 5, and then my magic, I had an explosion. So it was a four okay. and then a three. And... Okay, cool. Oh, shit, so... I don't have... It's a 12. What? It's a 12. <laughs> <laughs> 12, okay. Well, um, if you use your automatic explosion uh, with this, that would bump it up to 18. I take it. All right. So... Um, Xander, you had a 14, would you like to, or do you have four adversity tokens to spend to pass that roll? I do, but I don't want to use all four. I think I'll just use, can I use one to not, uh, fail it, or, uh, critical fail it? Um, you are, um, you're four under already, so, uh... Five is what makes it a critical fail, so um, you can just leave it at the fourteen, and you'll be you'll be fine. It'll be a standard fail, not a uh, critical fail. I'll just uh, uh, then take the two adversity tokens for easy going. Okay, sounds good. So we have three successes, one failure. Um, so. Um, once the the green finishes changing color, um, this mist kind of comes out of it that is the same color as the stone. Oh, no. um, and uh, Heather manages to like kind of jump and run out of the radius of this mist. Um, Predov just barely like it. She she breathes it in um, and has to kind of fight against it a bit, but is able to overcome. Uh, Xander, though, passes out. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> and with that, we are going to take our uh, quick bio break. Um, it'll be 10 to 15 minutes. Um, so while we're on that break, you guys think of what you want to do. Panic? Yeah, <laughs> let me let me go ahead and think about that real quick. I'm gonna be stupid, is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> I need to look at uh, well, you... my, I need to look at the things for my strengths again. <laughs> Just double check some shit. Yeah, and you you do have uh, you know, like you can determine what Duskwing does. Um, oh, man. So you do have some choices. But, uh, okay. we will be right back, guys. So, we are back. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around. Um, so, where we left off, uh, Xander had just passed out. Um, <laughs> everyone else was doing okay, though. Um, the, all the familiars are okay and conscious, um, so what would you guys like to do? It is going to, or, or sorry, uh, Frida is going to poorly try and attempt to grab Xander and pull him uh, back. Way, I was gonna... Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, so... Go ahead. <laughs> Bailey! What was that, Predov? He's going to poorly try and grab oh. Xander and pull him away. How far in okay. to the mist is he? Um, well, she was closer to the, um, 
to the plinth than he was. Um, so it's, uh, I would say the two of them, cause he was going for her, uh, they're about three, four feet away from you. Um, Heather is like a good seven feet behind you. Okay. As I say, I'll take my bag off that has Gigi and Castor in it and set it on the ground, and I'm gonna go in and help. Okay. Um, so... Uh, Preetav, you're already in that area, so, um... It's just gonna be a brawn roll for you, um... <laughs> and... Uh, that th this is this is a muscly guy, okay? Like <laughs> so uh this is gonna be a difficulty of like eighteen. Jesus. By the way, it's a, my roll my dice for bronze is a one D four guys. <laughs> hey. Yeah. You uh could do it, maybe. <laughs> guess what I just rolled. <laughs> I need to breathe. Right. Inhale. Uh, yeah, Xander is not glowing. Um, it. I did not have time to set up uh, the glowing thing for him. Um, it. It takes about thirty minutes per person to set up the glowing. <laughs> Glowing? Yeah, when he yeah. busts, he's no longer using his webcam because it was tanking his internet. Mm. Yeah. He was turning into uh, uh, he was turning into the clap light. Yeah, it, it yeah. literally like every other like second it'd be like me. I turn into a chameleon. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, um, my family's getting home now, so yeah, it would definitely tank it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you got a one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then you do have a plus one for stat, uh, and you are, um, yeah, no, that would not be magic, so that is just a two. <laughs> is she, um. Okay, is it using her guardian uh, strength? Oh, oh yeah, right. so you are using Guardian, so you can roll a d4, even though this wouldn't typically be magic. Yeah. Well, that was a two. <laughs> Ow. All right, so we have a whole four uh, <laughs> toward your 14. Um, so go ahead and give me a grit roll difficulty of 18. Oh, great. Well, I don't have high hopes for this either. That's a three. <laughs> All right. Um, cool. So, Preda reaches down and tries to grab him, um, and he doesn't move at all. <laughs> at all. Um, she she just like pulls and pulls and then his jacket like slips through and she falls, hits the back of her head on the ground and loses her concentration on trying to fight off the mist and she is now passed out as well. Oh no. <laughs> so, um, there are now two passed out classmates um, and Zoe was uh, moving toward them to try and help. I'm gonna go for Preda because she's smaller. She'll be okay. easier to move compared to Xander. Okay. Um, and you are just trying to bodily move her? Uh, would I know something that I can use to magically move her? Um, yeah, you, you are a scrawny but scrappy lass who does metal working, so you would definitely, you would definitely have, um, 
It'd probably be some kind of like runic thing that you would draw on yourself temporarily. Um, so, do you want to go for uh, strength or uh, defense? Um. Or both. I want to say both. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, Brawn, this is going to be a rune that you have, um, drawn probably several times already. Uh, you're in eighth year, so this is something that you would have mastered. So, um, you are going to automatically succeed on this. However, if you would like, you can roll for an epic success for your strength buff. I'll stick to the regular success. My brawn is my lowest stat, so... <laughs> well, it, so with the... With things that you have mastered, you're not going to fail them. Like oh, okay. It, so this is just, you know, it basically... Okay. A, okay. Um, so your... Uh, uh, mastery epic difficulty is 12. If you get 12 or higher, it automatically counts as an epic success. And does the guardian count for this or no? Um, it would not count for this, okay. no. It's only a five. <laughs> okay. Um, so... You do succeed anyway. This is uh, a, a runic uh, configuration that you have mastered. Um, so you do get a, a temporary buff for your uh, brawn. So the next five brawn rolls that you make, you will get an automatic plus three. Okay. Um, now for defense... Does Zoe look at defense as how much she can withstand or how much harm she can do uh, before they are able to land a hit on her? How much she can withstand. Okay. So that is going to be a grit roll. Um... And that is not something that she has probably done very often, so that difficulty is going to be a 15. Okay. That is with her magic die. Okay, that's what I have to ask about. Yeah, any, any time you're doing runes, um, unless you are um, trying to... Uh, devise a new runic configuration, it's going to be with your magic die. Okay. Oh my god, an explosion. Fuck yeah. We love those explosions. Right. 16, 16, 17, 18. 18, alright. So you do succeed on that as well. Um, so for the next five grit rolls, you get a plus three. Okay. Um, so now that you have essentially given yourself uh, temporary magic tattoos, um, you go into the mist and you go to pick up Predov. Um, as we have already discussed today, uh, Predov is lucky to weigh 100 pounds sopping wet so your brawn roll for her um is going to be a super difficult eight okay and do i so do what i use the guardian on this then um yeah this one would have guardian And while she is doing that, Predov, can I get another grit roll from you? This time it is going to be a difficulty of 15. Is this with magic? Uh, yes, this is magic. I got a 10. A 10, okay. Uh, Perfect. I got a 5. 
All right. Um, so as you pick Predov up, um, she uh, her breathing seems to be getting, you know, a little shallower of a you know longer time in between. Um, so you do have her quite solidly in your arms, um, and you can run out of the mist with her. I want to do that. Xander, if I can get um, a uh, grit roll from you, um, that is going to be a difficulty of 14. Uh, with magic? With magic. Okay, so I have another question. Um, you mentioned that... Um, Duskwing had, like, his saddle on? Mm-hmm. Is there anything on there that looks like it would be rope or something long enough to be used as rope? Um... Yes. There is uh, about 12 feet of rope. I'm gonna grab that. Because I know I'm not strong enough to move Xander. So what I want to do is I want to grab the rope before I go back in. And I'm going to try and get the rope around him as best I can. Like roll him and get it under him and wrap it around him. And then go okay. back out and try and move him. Okay. And then if you um, have out, Heather would probably try to help. If and it's then out. I can also get Duskwing to help. Cool. If I could wild, wild speak to him. <laughs> yeah. Or like... <laughs> Absolutely. I, uh, I rolled a 10. You rolled a 10. Okay. Uh. Um, so, uh, Zoe gets pre dove to safety um, and then uh, runs back in with the rope. Um, you cannot detect any breath. Coming out of Xander. Oh. So you've got to do this fast. Yes. Um, so go ahead. Uh, because you are not trying to pick up or drag him, you're just kind of like setting him up or rolling him. Um, this is going to be brawn difficulty uh, 12. Because, again, he is a good bit heavier than Predov. Could you not just tie it to the ankles? Well. Yeah, as I was gonna say, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you could just tie it to one of his limbs, or both of his legs. I'll try and get it around, like, both his ankles, and tie it where it's like, um, you loop it around, and then you run it through, so it, it works like handcuffs around his ankles. Okay. Easy. Um, yeah, cool. So, give me, Dexterity. So let's go with uh, flight. Um, difficulty of ten. Okay. Do I still get the? Guardian Actually, no. That's a difficulty of eight. Yeah. Still get guardian. Oh, well, I imagine that exploded. But the guardian. Does that count? Nice. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Twelve. Twelve. All right. Um, and I did before you rolled uh, downgrade that to an eight. Um, so if you wanted, you could spend one adversity token to make that an epic success uh, with essentially ankle cuffing your classmate. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> All right. Sure, you know. Absolutely. I'd rather be safe than um, sorry. Yes. Cool. So, uh, you don't spend much time thinking about it, but uh, in the back of your mind is just this, like, smug pride, because that is the best knot you have ever, like, made <laughs> in your life. Um, and you are hoping that you can replicate this outside of a tent situation someday. You can use it um, next time. <laughs> yes. Um... 
Yeah, the camping is exactly why I downgraded it. <laughs> um, but cool. So, and then you are uh, running back out with the rope and getting Duskwing and uh, Heather to assist, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so go ahead and give me another flight roll. This one is going to be difficulty of 12. Am I also rolling? Uh, not yet. Rolling. This is this is her running. Okay. <laughs> okay, well that exploded. Um, grab another dice. That's an eleven. An eleven. I don't get any bonuses to that. I got no buffs to flight. None to flight. Okay. Have any more adversity points? Oh, I do. I'm gonna. So you want to upgrade that? Yep. All right. Um, cool. So you managed to uh, run um, pretty fast um, out of there. So no further grit rolls for you. Um, and then it's gonna be a combined. Brawn roll, uh, difficulty of, uh, 18. So, um, this is going to be, uh, Zoe, Heather, and Duskwing using Xander's Brawn die, um, rolling for, uh, it basically rolling to get him out of there. Does this count for Guardian as well? Um, no. This one will not. Okay. Explosion. I got an ace. Wait, and you said this was Brawn? Yeah, yeah Brawn. Okay, I got a four. Can I my stats to his roll as well? Um, no, the only stat that you'll add to familiars... Um, actually, so you can add your magic stat, but not your standard stat. Okay. Then it's just a nine. Nine, all right. Um, we at least hit 18 then. <laughs> so, yeah, so that is um, 21. So that is three above what you needed. Um, you do manage to get him out of there. Um, Xander, if I can get a final grit roll from you, difficulty on this one is an eight. Oh boy. All right. Uh, this is with magic, right? Yep. Okay, cool. You save my ass, I'll save yours. <laughs> All right. Uh, the D6 explodes. Fuck nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Uh, the magic die explodes once. Okay, cool. Uh, 6, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, he hella <laughs> 18. All right. Um, I so, guys. <laughs> perfect. So, that is a tier two epic success. Um, so, as soon as you guys clear him from the mist, he like jackknifes into a sitting position and just starts like. <coughs> <coughs> <sighs> you good? <laughs> and I never don't touch the goddamn pillar. <laughs> that is freedom, by the way. I was not gonna say I told you so, but like in response to that, she might smile just the tiniest bit because she did try <laughs> to stop you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Predov is still unconscious. Um, she's stabilized being outside of the mist. 
Um, but you guys will need to try and heal her in order to um, to get her conscious again. Can um, I'll, I'll see you knocked out. What was that? I'll go over. I was gonna say, can I do um, use nature magic or plant magic to do that? Absolutely, hundred um, percent. So, uh, with that, um, depending on how you want to try and do it. So, if you're just trying to neutralize what is in her, um, it's gonna be grit. If you want to expel what is in her, it's going to be uh, flight. Um, and if you want to um, teach her immune system how to fight it, that's going to be charm. I'm probably going to go with charm. Okay. Um, so that will be a difficulty of 12. Fantastic. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so I got an eight there, um, a three there, and then I have plus one for magic, and obviously she would be holding her, her bauble. Um, so it'd be a plus one with focus, so that should get me to 13. Absolutely. Um, so with that, um, she, uh, slowly, like, you, you see her chest has been kind of shallowly going up and down in an inconsistent, um, staccato, but as you are healing her, um, it kind of evens out. Her breaths get a lot deeper um, and definitely more natural, more normal. Um, and then as you kind of lift your hands away from her, uh, she opens her eyes. Well, that was fascinating. She's going to sit up. Uh, Heather's just going to kind of like fall backwards and just kind of like breathe a sigh of relief at like what she did. Work. I'm going to untie Xander's ankles. <laughs> <laughs> I think Perfect. Xander looks down and goes, impressive. I, wasn't about, yeah. I was not about to carry your ass out of there. You're... <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. I expected none of you to. I thought, uh, you know, but he turns to Frida. I said, don't touch the goddamn pillar. And we wouldn't have One figured thing. out anything about it if I hadn't. Right. Now we know it turns purple. Do I know that I was on the brisk, like the brink of death? Um... Give me, uh, this is going to be a, a, a no consequence, uh, if you fail roll, give me a grit difficulty of 15. I feel like okay. I knew he wasn't breathing, he probably was. <laughs> uh, one explosion, and eight. Eight? Okay. Um... He just knows that that he was in some deep shit, but he doesn't know like how deep. But I, like, I, I do remember like the mist came out and then I fell unconscious, right? Yeah, you do know that, um, and you you definitely know how much and how hard you were coughing. Okay. So common sense would stand to reason that, you know wasn't good. <laughs> yeah. You ever heard the phrase, curiosity killed the cat? Well, we almost were the cats. <laughs> we maybe still... Next time heed, maybe next time heed the warning of a friend. Please. <laughs> we 
still wouldn't know anything about it if no one has done anything. Now we know. Don't touch the pillar. Well, he's and saying to it, and it didn't do anything bad. Really, really quietly, right. like, pop up, like, probably while, like, grabbing, like, Zoe's sleeve or something. Like, can we just go? Yeah, I'll put yes. the rope back on Dustwing and thank him and then pick my bag back up. Checking to make sure that the two are still sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> um cool so while while you're doing this right around the time that uh xander says we were almost the cats ada appears at the uh like the the entrance that you guys have all come through to get to this area ada kind of comes through and anxiously runs up to pre -Dove. where have you been Explorin, where have you been? I couldn't I feel you. Past. What do you mean you couldn't feel me? I thought you were gone forever, and then you were back, and I came. She's gonna go a little. She's gonna go pale, and she's just gonna pick up Ada and put her on her shoulders. <laughs> What oh, yeah. did you okay. do? <laughs> Nothing. Let's go. You just get okay. this sense of extreme <laughs> disbelief coming through your familiar bond. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, I uh, get up and give Zoe a big hug and say thank you. For sure. And I uh, turn to Heather. I know she's not really like. What I, I would know, Heather's not really like a touchy feely person, right? How much is like hanging around with Zoe? One would certainly hope so. <laughs> uh, we'll just uh, just wave and say thank you for healing Preda. He's gonna go and give Preda a hug. Preda uh, is stock still. She's just like, the fuck off me. Just gives her a hug. And uh, doesn't really care about the, her feelings about this right now. But it's just going to give him give her a hug because that's how he's feeling. And then walk over to Duskwing. And then, like, put his head on uh, his head. Like, I'm so sorry. I did not know that would be that bad. I did try to stop her, though. Just <clears throat> after being thanked, just, just know that, like... Any, like, form of attention, like, I, I'm pretty certain Heather would just kind of low-key turn beet red. All right. Um, uh, so... Good way to short-circuit Heather. <laughs> so, uh, Dustwing just kind of huffs and, and nuzzles and is just like, I know. Let's leave. Let's go, yeah. Yes. Zoe would definitely clap Heather on the shoulder and tell her good job. <laughs> Intense blushing <laughs> intensifying. <laughs> All right. Um, so, and you guys are going back to the entrance, right? Yeah, Not just... into the rest of the maze? No. Oh. I, need, I need to take Caster home. <laughs> we're, we're leaving. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you guys do manage to, um, you know, get back through, no issue. It seems that each time you go through the, uh, Hall of Runes, like, once you go through it, it is deactivated against you. Um, so you don't have to do those checks again. You get to the entrance... Um, you stop back at, um, uh, the stable to, uh, kind of let Deskwing go, um, and then you all head in to, uh, to get your familiar's dinner as well as some dinner for yourselves. And, uh, with that, we will go ahead and end tonight, um... That 
wrapped up in very good time. So, fantastic. Thank you, guys. Um, hey, Xander. Huh? Yes. I do want to What's say Xander? that... Wrong Xander. Uh, the DM, GM Xander. While they're having dinner, uh -huh. uh, she is fiercely writing down every detail that she can remember from the uh, maze in one of her notes, journals, things. Okay. Um, is she... Uh, what, it, what is the purpose of the note writing? To remember what can happen in case they go back into the maze. Okay. Um, the, the maze does change every time. Um, so there is the vague possibility of running into that plinth again, but, um, it's not a guarantee. Uh, it, it resets every day, basically. Um, so you can definitely, uh, do that. Um... Send me, uh, send me a message, uh, saying that you're doing that, and I will figure out what to have you roll, um, next week. And then, uh... Same bat time, same bat channel? <laughs> yep, same bat time, same bat channel.